Hi Aquarius, this is your February 2022 reading, Universal Energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aquarius for February 2022 in love, Universal Energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aquarius for February 2022 in love universal energies show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aquarius for February 2022 in love show me happy birthday Aquarius happy birthday you guys subscribe like comment and share these videos if this does not resonate with you check your moon rising and venus sign videos i do not read reversals so aquarius Aquarius, this is the mutual point of interest between you and your partner. Maybe you mention it to your partner and it's on both you guys' minds. Maybe your partner mentioned it to you and it's on both you guys' minds. Or some external source has both you and your partner feeling this way, thinking this way, or wanting to take this action. This is the mutual point of interest between you. Aquarius, this is you. This is your partner. So, Aquarius, I want to say that no matter where these cards fall, it can be vice versa or someone in you guys' environment. For February 2022, the mutual point of interest between you and your partner, Aquarius, is the Page of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag, this is news or a message about a passionate, creative new endeavor. Now, this can be the news about the spark of a new idea. The news, a message about some type of passionate action that needs to take place. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So passionate messages or news of passion. So Aquarius, listen, you guys could be sending each other passionate messages. It very well could be that we're having this heated discussion or argument or we're finding passionate messages and hearing the news of someone sharing passion. Clarify the Page of Wands for Aquarius and their partner. Clarify the Page of Wands for Aquarius and their partner. Clarify the Page of Wands for Aquarius and their partner. <clears throat> it is clarified with the Eight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is mastering your craft, perfecting your skills, trades, and abilities. This is you throwing yourself into your work. But this can also speak to you being willing to work on it or put in the work. So Aquarius, listen, we could be sending each other passionate messages trying to work things out. We could be getting into a heated discussion or argument over maybe working things out or something that's going on at work. We could be finding passionate messages and hearing the news of someone sharing passion with someone that they work with or do business with. Aquarius, you have the Seven of Pentacles. You have the Seven of Swords. You have the emperor. Hmm. Your partner has the world. Your partner has the ace of wands. Are you sleeping with the boss, Aquarius? And your partner has you. I want to tell on you, the king of swords. So, Aquarius, the mutual point of interest and what's on both you guys' minds is, you know, we could be sending each other passionate messages trying to work things out. You know, we could have got into a heated discussion or argument trying to work things out or a heated discussion or argument over something that's going on at work. However, we could be finding passionate messages and hearing the news of someone sharing passion with someone that they work with or do business with here. Aquarius, you have the seven of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you waiting. And in this wait, you're pausing to reflect on you guys' relationship. You're looking at the seeds that were planted. Looking at what has taken root, what has grown, and what it has produced thus far. Trying to figure out whether or not you want to continue to invest. Whether you want to reinvest. You're taking stock of you guys' relationship. Assessing you guys' relationship. 
But this is also a card of you looking at your coins, your harvest, your bank account, looking at how much you have and how much you have to invest. Could be waiting on money. So Aquarius, listen, you can tell me that you're waiting, contemplating, and debating on whether or not you care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship. However, you could be looking at your coins here, okay? Maybe your bank account here. Clarify the seven of pentacles for Aquarius. Clarify the seven of pentacles for Aquarius. Clarify the seven of pentacles for Aquarius. It is clarified with the five of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you feeling neglected, abandoned, excluded, left out in the cold. This can speak to financial lack and poverty consciousness. This could be a breakup. So Aquarius, listen, you know, hmm, you can tell me that there's some type of financial lack going on here that causes you to look at your money, you know, put a magnifying glass on your bank account here. Or Aquarius, you're telling me that you guys broke up, okay? And maybe you're waiting, contemplating, and debating on whether or not you care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship. Aquarius, you have the Seven of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone lying, cheating, stealing, being manipulative, trying to get away with something, someone being deceptive, someone strategically devising a plan of action, someone being sneaky, trying to escape, trying to get away with something. So Aquarius, some type of lying, cheating, deceptiveness here, some type of sneakiness. Clarify the Seven of Swords for Aquarius. Clarify the Seven of Swords for Aquarius. Clarify the Seven of Swords for Aquarius. Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This queen is a very fiery, feisty, bold, and confident energy. Someone who handles their business with a lot of passion, effort, and energy. You could be dealing with this Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or someone with fire prominent in their charts. However, you could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Wands. Now, the Queen of Wands is someone who's highly motivated, a self-starter, someone who gets things done and makes things happen with a lot of passion. So you could be dealing with a fire sign or you're wanting to take action here. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Aquarius. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Aquarius. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Aquarius. It is clarified with the Queen of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This queen is a very loving, kind, compassionate queen. This is a nurturing queen. This is the mothering energy. She's very intuitive and psychic, and she searches her emotions. Could be dealing with Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, or someone with water prominent in their charts. However... You could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Cups and using your intuition concerning something or searching your emotions concerning something. Also with the Queen of Cups, this is a mothering, nurturing energy. So you could be dealing with the parent of your child here. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Aquarius. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Aquarius. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Aquarius. It is clarified with the Two of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is you being at a crossroads, needing to pick a path between two. Should I, shouldn't I? Will I, won't I? I don't know. So Aquarius, you're at a crossroads here trying to decide, you know, should you, shouldn't you, or which path to take. I feel like you're using your intuition or searching your emotions concerning the action that you want to take based on some type of deception here, okay? It may even be that you're wanting to sneak off here. Aquarius, you have the emperor. Could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus, but the emperor is someone who runs empires. This is a boss, a business owner, CEO, independent contractor, manager. This is usually an older gentleman. It doesn't have to be, but someone who's wise yet stern, someone who wants complete control and authority. Could be dealing with this Aries or a Taurus. Could be dealing with a spouse because the emperor is a married, stable, committed person. Could be dealing with the parent of your child because the emperor is a father figure. Could also be dealing with someone you work with or do business with here. Clarify the emperor for Aquarius. Clarify the emperor for Aquarius. Clarify the emperor for Aquarius. It is clarified with the Two of Swords. 
Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this is you needing to make a decision, but you're in the dark about some things, some things you just refuse to see, refuse to acknowledge, a lack of information, block communication. So it's hard for you to make an informed decision in this position. But this is also a card of you being closed off, blocked off, not wanting to see, wanting to ignore, wanting to turn a blind eye. So Aquarius, listen, either you're indecisive here or you're blocking communication. I feel like you're kind of indecisive here on a move that you're wanting to make. Aquarius, listen, you know, very well could have been a heated discussion or argument taking place over something that's happening at work here. We'll see, okay? Could also be about working things out. You're trying to figure out whether or not you want to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship. Aquarius, your partner has the world. Could, really? <laughs> Your partner may be at a distance from you, either emotionally or physically at a distance. Your partner may have traveled recently or will travel in the near future. But the world symbolizes closing out a cycle to start a new cycle. Closing out a chapter to start a new chapter. So Aquarius, listen, your partner could tell me that there's distance between you guys. Emotional distance or geographical distance. Your partner could tell me that a cycle is closing out completely. Or someone is wanting to come back around again. Clarify the world for Aquarius's partner. Clarify the world for Aquarius's partner. Clarify the world for Aquarius's partner. It is clarified with the Hierophant. Could be dealing with a Taurus. But the Hierophant speaks to the leader of a religious organization, the leader of a metaphysical organization. This is a clergyman, a pastor, a preacher, a teacher, a coach, a mentor, a counselor, someone of wise counsel. This is the institution of higher learning. This is a corporate institution. This is the marriage card. So Aquarius could be dealing with a Taurus, but when we're dealing with this Hierophant, you guys may be in a commitment. You know, someone could have commitment on the brain. This can be about forgiveness. This can be about an institution, organization, governmental agency, or religious differences or values. Clarify the Hierophant for Aquarius's. Clarify the Hierophant for Aquarius's partner. Clarify the Hierophant. For Aquarius's partner. Clarify the Hierophant for Aquarius's partner. The Fool. Could be dealing with an Aries, but the Fool symbolizes to take a leap of faith, take a chance, take a risk, and set out on a brand new journey to do a brand new thing, sight unseen, just throwing caution to the wind and just doing it. So Aquarius, listen, could be dealing with an Aries, but your partner could tell me that, hey, I just want to take a leap of faith. I want to set out on a brand new journey. I just want to up and do something here. Or your partner saying someone took a risk or a chance in you guys' relationship. Clarify the fool for Aquarius' partner. Clarify the fool for Aquarius' partner. Clarify the fool for Aquarius' partner. It is clarified with the King of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This king is usually stable, rooted, grounded, traditional, believes in the institution of marriage and family, someone who is good with managing finances and material resources. This could be a business owner, CEO, independent contractor, manager. Very well could be dealing with this Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or someone with earth prominent in their chart. However, when we're dealing with the King of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles is a married, stable, committed person. So you could be dealing with a spouse or someone has commitment on the brain here. King of Pentacles is a nurturing father figure. So you could be dealing with the parent of your child. Could be dealing with someone you work with or do business with or have some type of joint assets, resources, and property with. Or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Aquarius' partner. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Aquarius' partner. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Aquarius' partner. I don't know why. I don't know. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Aquarius' partner. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Aquarius' partner. It is clarified with the... What? Three of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. 
This is We Are Reunited, and it feels so good. Let's go out, eat, drink, and be merry, and celebrate. Celebrate that we're reunited, and it feels so good. But this can also speak to there being a third-party situation going on. So, Aquarius, it's kind of funny to me, because it seems like your partner... <clears throat> is wanting to close out an old cycle but maybe come back around again wanting forgiveness or maybe even going into a commitment taking a leap of faith here having the stability having just cause to celebrate is commitment or marriage on their brain and this is why you're indecisive because it was some type of deception before listen aquarius your partner could tell me that a cycle is closing out here because someone had a third party but maybe someone is asking for forgiveness okay Oh, Aquarius, listen, your partner has the Ace of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is a brand new, passionate, creative endeavor. Now, this can be the spark of a new idea. This can be some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this wand is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So brand new, passionate beginnings. So Aquarius, listen, your partner could have a spark of a new idea. They could be initiating something here. This can be passionate communication, romantic passion, or a heated discussion or argument, or the fact that someone started a passionate new beginning. Clarify the Ace of Wands for Aquarius's partner. Clarify the Ace of Wands for Aquarius's partner. Clarify the Ace of Wands for Aquarius's partner. Page of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is immature, premature communication. But this is also your partner spying, researching, investigating, looking into someone, looking into someone's social media, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, riding past someone's home, riding past someone's job, asking a friend of a friend of a friend. This is your partner doing their due diligence, due diligence to gather information and research, looking into something. <clears throat> So Aquarius, your partner could tell me that it was some type of immature, premature communication had here. Or they went looking and spying on something, investigating something. Clarify the page of swords for Aquarius's partner. Clarify the page of swords for Aquarius's partner. Clarify the page of swords for Aquarius's partner. Strength. Could be dealing with a Leo. But the universe is calling for your partner to have strength, courage, determination, motivation to keep moving forward and to do the right thing. But this is also a card of your partner trying to tame their lust, tame their passions, trying to restrain themselves, restrict themselves and hold themselves back from something. So Aquarius, listen, your partner can tell me that they're feeling extremely weak here. Your partner can tell me that they're restraining themselves, restricting themselves and holding themselves back or trying to muster the strength and courage to do something. Could be dealing with a Leo. Clarify strength for Aquarius' partner. Clarify strength for Aquarius' partner. Clarify strength for Aquarius' partner. Two of Pentacles. Hmm. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is juggling. Now, this could be juggling two ideas. Should I, shouldn't I? Will I, won't I? This can be your partner managing many things at once, weighing up the pros and the cons, or juggling two relationships. <clears throat> so, Aquarius, listen. Your partner could tell me that you guys had this immature, premature communication, maybe some type of heated discussion or argument. You know, and maybe they're trying to restrain themselves, restrict themselves, and hold themselves back. They may even be trying to muster the strength and courage to do something here. Asking themselves, should I, shouldn't I, weighing things out here. But Aquarius, with some type of spying going on, and it's found out that someone was juggling, possibly with a third party. Hmm. Aquarius, your partner has the king of swords. This is you, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. This king is a very intelligent, analytical, and logical king. He only wants to deal with the truth, the facts, and the proof of the matter. So this is about truthful communication, and this is about making a decision. However, Aquarius, this is you. Clarify the king of swords for Aquarius' partner. Clarify the king of swords for Aquarius' I don't know. Clarify the King of Swords for Aquarius' partner. 
What does Aquarius's partner think of Aquarius? What does Aquarius's partner think of Aquarius? Clarify the King of Swords for Aquarius's partner. It is clarified with the Nine of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you saying with, without, or in spite of anyone. I alone, in my own right, am abundant, self-sufficient, independent, and single. I'm single. Aquarius, it almost makes me feel like, yeah, you're single, but it just seems like they have something else in mind here. Wanting to come back around again and having just cause to celebrate with some type of stability, taking a leap of faith with some type of commitment here. And you're single. And you know what? They may have been spying on you because they have the spark of a new idea, asking themselves, should they, shouldn't they come in with it? Must and should they courage to do so? Here you are indecisive. You're telling me that I don't know. I don't know. I'm searching my emotions, using my intuition because it was some type of deception in the past. You guys broke up and now they have, the, have you wondering and contemplating if you care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship. <clears throat> Aquarius, listen, we may have had a heated discussion or argument here. However, we could have found passionate messages and heard the news of someone sharing passion. But we're trying to work things out here. And this is why it's just like, I don't know. I don't know. Aquarius, this is your February 2022 reading. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.